Boom, we are live. What's going on, guys? Welcome in. Take a seat and get comfortable. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day so far. It's lovely to have you all here. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So, on today's video, we're going to be checking out a track called The Offering, which is featuring Blake Mullins of Disembodied Tyrant. Really, really fucking good band. Go check them out if you haven't. And this track is by a band called Of Ruin. So, I've got a lot of experience with um, Of Ruin. Um, they used to be called uh, Confront the Elders. Um, that's I, I knew them. I, I first discovered them when they were called that. The first time I featured them on the channel was uh, two years ago. Confront the elders, uh, Diabolist uh, reaction, and then since then I've went on to react to Cemetery of Ash, The Abyss, Blood Moon, and then the actual sorry, just punching the microphone there, and then um, the their actual EP um, Blood Moon. So I featured these guys heavily on the channel um had many great conversations back and forth with all of them need to try and actually do that more you know actually speak to people you know <laughs> get to know them as human beings you know um become less of a grumpy old man basically a grumpy old hermit um so uh yeah so it was around about that so let me see what am i trying to say here so if you now search um if you now search for um, of ruin, um, you do They have um, they've got a they they they, they put an announcement up. We're gonna uh, going under the name of ruin. We decided that it was for a time for uh, it was time for a name change. Due to the change in our sound between our first and second EP, we all felt the name is better representation of where we are, so on and so forth. So, um. They've definitely changed. Definitely changed since they were um, since they were confront the elders. Um, they were more straight deathcore um, to begin with. I would strongly recommend you go and check out their check out their older stuff. Really, really good. Started to become a little bit more uh, blackened as um, as time went on, and then they've kind of fully morphed into a um, into a um, uh, blackened deathcore band. Um, in my opinion. Um, there's a bit of a debate on in my head anyway exa for exactly what counts as black and deathcore but these guys definitely are um, so um, yeah so we're going to check out their last song which was released June 4th 2020 um, this track is called Kingdom of Deceit it's the first release that you'll see on their Instagram so this is kind of where they're wanting to start being a new band but don't forget to check out their earlier stuff as well because it's d different not some of it very different some of it not that different but all totally worth listening to um so yeah we're gonna listen to kingdom of deceit um which i absolutely loved um some of the it's some of my favorite drumming not just in how it's mixed but also how it's played the arrangement of it so on and so forth um so we're gonna do that just to catch everyone up to speed if you haven't heard of uh of Rune before gonna do that and then we'll get on to the uh, to the to the new song
I mean, come on. I mean, just just epic, heavy. Those those drumming patterns, dude. I just can't say enough. Of, just the snare on that. Just the snare alone. Just oh man, can't can't say enough good things about that track. Um, okay, let's uh, let's stop messing around. Of ruin the offering new song. Let's go. Got my pen ready.
Wow. Whoa. Of Ruin. The Offering. <clears throat> that was fucking epic. That was seriously epic. Um let's 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 get to let's get to some of the bits. I've literally just written fifty seconds here, because I'm an idiot. That's how you do Black and Death Core right there. Just thrilling. Fucking thrilling, man. Holy shit. Just everything works so, so goddamn well together. Holy shit. Um, next section. Love little vocal bits like that. A cough. Yeah, n never would have seen that coming. Don't know what they did to this piano. Don't know. Don't know what key or whatever. But the, the, there's a there's a slight haunting effect on it. It sound. I I, I, I I don't know what they did to it. But man. Kind of, kind of, kind of, like bl blackened vibes, but almost kind of, I don't know, just, just, just almost paradoxical vibes, sounding, sounding very creepy, very unsettling, but also quite epic and slightly uplifting at the same time. Just an eerie, unique vibe. Um, yeah, doing, doing the, doing the, doing the black and deathcore thing here to a, a very, very high level. Um, and then going into uh, kind of like more kind of like mid-ranged, mid-paced style. And then just and then and then instead of just like hey hey they done plenty of breakdowns don't 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 worry about that like the, the heavy was still there but then just just building. <laughs> And 
and then just to remind everyone that they're a deathcore band. Well, obviously they're a deathcore band, but just 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 saying to everybody, ah, don't worry, motherfuckers, we still got breakdowns. Yeah, that's the last part I wanted to talk about, actually. So, the, the, you would expect the guitar to go lower, but that sounds quite high, high, low. It sounds like, the, the, whatever, again, for the millionth time, not a guitarist, but you would expect that the that to sound very, very low and chuggy, but it sounds like they're on, like, like the eighth or ninth fret doing the kind of, like, slammy breakdown-esque, like, outro. And then these off hit dr- this off hit drumming as well. So good, man. So good. So fucking good, dude. Um, I fucking love that. I really, really love that. Um, it, I thought the mix was better when I was listening to Kingdom of Deceit. Um, I did think that, p- that potentially the drums were a little bit too loud and they were blocking out some of the... Um, not blocking out, but they were kind of like... The, if they were just a little bit less audible in the mix, you might have been able to hear some of the um, black-esque atmospheric sound effect shit that they were doing in the background. That wasn't... like You could still hear it fine, but it was just maybe a little bit less drums would have made it pop off a little bit better. Um, but the offering... that. Ooh, just punch my microphone again. Um, the offering had um, had um, had no problems with that. You could hear everything perfectly. Um, so many, so much. Just yes, it's so 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 it's so heavy, so massive sounding, so awesome. That nice little that, that that bit where one of them, I don't know if that was Blake or if that was Cole. I believe is. The, I'm really bad with names, but I'm pretty sure it's Cole is the. The lead singer, uh, the vocalist, um, um, super epic. Took its time, still heavy. Um, great drumming, great mix. Just what do you expect from our ruin at this point? You know what I mean? I've just I've got a lot of faith in these guys that they're just going to keep dropping banger after banger. But um, yeah, that was that was really really fucking good. I expected it to be good, and I was not disappointed. Um, yeah. Cannot wait to hear more, guys. Holy shit! Yeah, really, really cannot wait to hear uh, what what uh, what's coming next. EP, hopefully an album, but that might be a little bit too a little bit too spoiled of me. But yeah, just uh, keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming because that was um, really fucking good. Yeah, Prime Rib, uh, Black and Deathcore. Um, yeah, if anyone says that they're getting bored with like the whole kind of like Black and Deathcore thing, go and play the new Worm Shepherd to them, and then go and play that to them afterwards. If um, yeah. If they say they're getting bored of Black and Deathcore and go, really? Do you say there's no no good Black and Deathcore out there? Um, yeah, outstanding. Two thumbs up, boys. Very, very nice. So, as usual, links to the song that we just heard, the Slam Worldwide video, links to their YouTube, links to their social medias, their Facebook, their Instagram, links to where you can stream the music, get their numbers up. Buy some merchandise. They just released some merchandise. Actually, the, the, the hoodie. I wish I wish, I'd, w- w- wish I wish I was slightly richer. Um, maybe one day. But those hoodies look really, really sick. Like they've just got they've got a bunch of good merchandise there, and that's a really good way to support a band financially. Go and go and buy merch on them. Just go do all that YouTube stuff. Do what you can to support these guys because yeah, definitely want to hear more of that. Um, they've come a long way since their, since their first uh, first the first since their, their first releases um like i said go and check them out like it's like still super super good but just really really different you know 
Um, yeah, happy for you guys. Did really, really good. Fucking excellent work. So, one more time of Ruin, the offering featuring Blake Mullins of Disembodied Tyrant. Go check that shit out. I'm going to go and jam it on a bunch of times. Take it easy, and I'll catch you guys later on. Peace.